So let's try and work through one of the problems. Practicing calculating K. So here we have a reaction. This reaction is part of what's called the, ha the Haber process. It's how ammonia gets produced. And so we take nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas and react them to make ammonia. Here's the balanced chemical equation. And at equilibrium, at 127 degrees Celsius, because this process takes place at a higher energy state, we've got to put energy in. Um, here are our concentrations. Um, uh, the nitrogen's at 8.5 times 10 to the negative 1 molar. Uh, hydrogen is at 3.1 times 10 to the negative 3rd molar. And the ammonia that's being produced is at a concentration of 3.1 times 10 to the negative 2 molar. So that means this is where uh, this reaction is at equilibrium. So the question is, is, is this uh, a product favored reaction? Is this a reactant favored reaction? Where does this equilibrium lie? We have the concentrations. So the first step for you to do is to write the actual expression so that you know where everything goes. Remember it's products over reactants. And then put the numbers in and do the math. I'm gonna pause for a few minutes and I suggest that you pause this Grab your calculator, grab a pencil and paper, and give it a try. All right, so hopefully you paused and you worked this through yourself. Here are the solutions. Again, just so that we have it clear, I put the reaction here again. So the expression. Products or reactants, and notice each thing is raised to its coefficient as an exponent. Plug the numbers in, do the math, and the equilibrium constant is 3.8 times 10 to the 4th. Notice no units. This is a proportionality constant that tells us that this equilibrium lies to the right. This is a product favored reaction at this temperature. And that's how you calculate equilibrium. You set up the equilibrium expression. If you have the concentrations at equilibrium, you just plug them in. If we were to look at this reaction in reverse, the expression would be reciprocal. It would be inverted. And the value of K would be 1 over this number. Okay, So we can talk about reactions going forward or backwards. And then we can write it either the way it is now or reverse it. And when we reverse it, the K value for the reversed reaction is the reciprocal of the K value, the equilibrium constant for the original reaction.